hello and welcome to the online course introduction to the gears for uh, any machinery we generally need a prime mover most of the time the prime mover is an electric motor now the requirement of the machine are of different type that means uh, it requires different torque and it requires different speed so for transmitting the power and the motion from the prime mover to the machine we need certain power transmission elements in between those so the gear is one of the power transmission element which is actually the most efficient power transmission element in addition to the gears we are using uh, for power transmission belt drive chain drive and rope drives but these power transmitting elements work on the friction principle so power transmission by friction is uh, limited because of the friction between the two surfaces for example in case of a belt drive power transmission depends on the tension between the belts and the coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley surface so previously when these drives were not there power being transmitted by using the friction wheels that means two wheels being mounted over the two shafts and power transmission between one shaft to another is being carried out by using the friction wheels so in this course uh, we are going to see the gear which is a power transmitting element and uh, it will cover the various types of gear such as spur gear helical gear bevel gear and worm gear we are going to see their advantages and disadvantages over each other and their applications along with the force analysis so the objective of this course is to study different types of gears you can see here one of the gear is shown like actually it is a helical gear and next is to explain the gear terminology then to explain the gear force analysis and we our objective is to solve certain basic gear related numericals so at the end of this course we are expecting certain course outcomes of this course so the learners will be able to understand and explain terminology of the gears they will be able to select the required type of gear for the particular application and they will be able to calculate dimensions of gear for given speed ratio and module also find the forces acting on the gears so we are going to have the assessment of this course so at the end of uh, every week the course learners are expected to solve multiple choice questions and an assignment based on which their assessment will be done and uh, we have kept a platform for the discussion between the course learners and the course coordinator so that if they are having a uh, particular doubts they can ask those doubts on this platform and their queries will be solved accordingly so this is what we are going to see in this particular course so i welcome you all for learning this course on introduction to gear design introduction to gears thank you